On this week's show, the Peloton instructors will get an off-season with multiple weeks off, and the all-for-one lineup is here. Plus, Katie Wong will now be teaching strength classes. Jess Sims is bringing her signature Sims 60 classes to the bike boot camp, and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 193 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm John Pruitt. I'm joined today by my co-host Amanda Siegel and Chris Lewis, Mr. Pelo Buddy himself. Hello, y'all. Hey, guys. Hey, how's everyone doing? Good. 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 Everything's good. And yeah, another week in Pelo Land, huh? Back um <laughs> back to some normality with the schedule back up and um classes the, the um, new normal at least. But exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Which we will share with you in the show. But there another is another week definitely... of no live weekday tread boot camps. Uh, yes, I saw your I saw your dis- disdain for no uh, um, Cody boot camp. You're I mean, waiting my, patiently. No, yeah, well, Cody bike boot camps, but also my, I, I really miss the noon tread boot camps they used to have so much of every day during the week, you know, with Andy and, and those, Selena yeah. and Re- Rebecca. They're yeah, just like non existent yeah. now. My, um, uh, my tread boot camp stats are going way down because I don't have all those. And that really options. was your only strength you were doing as well, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, although I did a, I did a rad strength today. Uh, I did too. Rad, Were you the on that live red? The yeah. twenty minute. It was a great class. It was Where hard. He, he was he was quite taken with the uh, Miss Pookie Bear leaderboard. Wasn't game. he? I did. I did see that. I did see <laughs> yeah, that. It was a yeah, good yeah, one. yeah. Chest and it, back. Uh, chest and back. Chest yeah. and back. It was. Um. It was. Yeah. I like red. I really like I red. To, and I saw I that one popping one, up. When I see him on the schedule live, I try to to because I take I him. Just, yeah, I feel like he's very underrated, and um, and I like I like Agreed. his workouts when I do them. Agreed. So. Agreed. It yeah. was hard. It was hard. My arms, um, definitely, yeah, definitely feel it. Um, yeah, got up early with Chelsea Jackson Roberts and her new bob haircut this morning. Ugh. Um, she just restyled her hair. It actually looks adorable, and um, did her yoga flow, and then um, yeah, then did reds, and then did a Mariana flow. Her flow nice from last little night. Stack. Was a nice tag, yeah. And then yeah. her run tonight. Am I going to see you there, boys? Mm. I will All be. Right. How long is this? I will be on a plane to New York. Oh so yeah, tonight's, I will not be on there. tonight's um parent uh, night at Jackson School. Uh, so this is an excuse for you. Not and of course, folks, likely. we say tonight. We say tonight in that we do record sometimes on a Thursday. Um, yes. Hence, I I threw that out as tonight, but we will now go forward in time and talk about everything happening as if it's Sunday. <laughs> Some schedules may said, change seasonally. Ours do not. Uh, yes, ours do not. Ours We're do always not. here. Um, all right, folks, before we get started with the news, we always do like to remind you how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms. Every episode is released on our YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand side of the video. And hit the notify button to make sure that you never miss an episode. Yes, and you already know we're on all traditional podcast platforms. So if you're on the go and you just want to listen to the show, you can find us everywhere where podcasts are found. Just search Pelo Buddy TV and subscribe and like there. Nice. And then, of course, we are on um, all the social platforms. So Instagram, um, Facebook, Twitter, uh, X. How can I still say Twitter? Um, search Pedal Buddy and like, follow us on those platforms for all of the latest news. And now let's get on with the show. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. Well, our top story this week is that Peloton is implementing what they are now calling an off-season for instructors and what they are calling their evolved instructor schedule. Now, one thing to note, this is rolling out now. You're seeing it in place across the schedule um, since the studio is open for maintenance. But this was actually posted by Peloton at the end of July. It just kind of flew under the radar and wasn't really noticed till now. So this, you know, was posted in July and it talks about upcoming, but it you know, we just found it. So when we're talking about it now, these changes are in place. 
But the big thing is that Peloton is implementing an off season for their instructors. And they say that you may notice that an instructor is out of class for longer periods of time. Peloton goes on to say it's for a combination of reasons. One to let the instructors have professional development. Um, another to let them work on other projects, um, kind of like how they stopped doing classes on Wednesday. But a big reason is um, just for rest and recovery. And they go on to liken it to professional athletes playing for teams, how you know they go hard during the on season, but then they get a off season off to recover, repair their body. Um, they had statements from Jess Sims and Andy Spear kind of talking about that. Um, and this whole, you can find the article with these full quotes and the entire statement from Peloton on the Pillow Buddy website. Um, but so even though they're doing an off season, it's not going to be where like every instructor is off for these five weeks. It's going to be kind of on a rolling basis. So a couple instructors mm-hmm. might be out one month, a couple instructors might be another. So it's going to be staggered um, so that it's not everyone at once. They did also say that some instructors will have longer time off than others but that you shouldn't expect an instructor out of class for more than a few weeks. Um, They did go on to say that, you know, our instructors will still keep teaching live. We'll still try to keep around the same schedule. But realistically, between the recent closing on Wednesday and this, there's probably going to be some slight reduction in classes somewhere. Just you're having less instructors teaching at the same time. Um, Peloton, you know, was promoting this as it's all about professional uh, development, recovery. But this is set against the background of, you know, in July, all the instructors who are still here signed new contracts. We did see three instructors who left during those contract negotiations. And just before that, in May, Peloton announced a restructuring, which laid off 400 people and said they're trying to save the company $200 million. So while Peloton hasn't, you know, said anything related to this, some of this could have gone into the contract negotiations where, you know, we're going to be giving you more time off, but you're going to be getting paid slightly less. Again, we don't know that's the case, but against the background of that restructuring, trying to save money, that could have come into play here. So while, yes, they are getting time off for development, who knows? It might be like a mini furlough that's happening. Sounds yeah, right. Yeah. I, I wish that I just, the only thing that I do wish, and, and I know they won't do this, is to kind of give us a heads up, you know, so we kind of know what schedules look like. Um, you know, some. Some folks definitely work out with certain instructors more. And um, if you're planning milestones or if you're planning visits to the studio, um, you know, it would be so nice to be able to know when, you know, those those instructors are going to be there and not. So you can kind of, you know, coordinate your, your um, activities around that. Yeah, I know some instructors have been, um, you know, just sharing on their social media stories. So if you happen to look at their story, Okay. That day, you might notice that they say, we're going to be off for a little bit, but there's no, you know, one place to kind of have that definitive, yeah. like, this is when people will be out, which, like you said, could be handy for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can't see their PTO calendar, unfortunately. Right. And you know, they're going to be moans <laughs> and groans. <laughs> there are going to be moans and groans. You know that much, folks. Uh, well, Katie Wong, big news from her this week. She is expanding her portfolio beyond the row and has joined the strength team. Um, She and Peloton both shared the news uh, this past week. Uh, They said Katie is bringing all the good vibes and energy to her debut strength class. Um, She officially launched with the strength team this past Friday, September 20th at 930 in the morning. Her um, premier strength class, it was a 30-minute full body strength. and she's going to be teaching the full spectrum of strength. So full body, upper body, lower core. So we anticipate some pre- pre-recorded class drops from her as well. That, that'll that go straight to the on-demand library um, to coincide with the premier class. But I'm sure we'll also um, get some live content from her in the, the schedule as well in there for, for strength. But she had been teasing an announcement recently on her social media channel. So we were, there was a lot of speculation if she was going to be going to another modality. Um, and there it is. I'm excited to see her on the strength platform. I like Katie. She's, she's yeah. an awesome instructor. Yeah, and before uh, she yeah. came to Peloton, Peloton she uh, taught, you know, hit boot camp style classes for um, uh, Barry's boot camp, I believe. So she has some experience, mm. you know, teaching strength with those boot camps. And, you know, she's been doing, uh, she's one of the main row boot camp instructors. So 
you know, half of her classes have been strength anyway with that, you know, half of nice. the platform. So I know the the team that rows with Katie is very excited to see her, you know, expand. And then people who don't have a row are excited to try her out who, you know, haven't been able to try a rowing class. Yeah, yeah, definitely excited. All right. Well, the next story, we finally have the all for one lineup for 2024's um, all for one music festival revealed. Um, and there has definitely been some mixed feelings about it. Um, the all for one festival for um, this year will take place on the weekend of September the 26th um, through the 30th. Um, which is in just two weeks from now. The event will feature 15 globally renowned artists offering classes in English, Spanish, and German. And this year's lineup includes, and I can actually do it pretty quickly because there are just 15 of them, um, Billie Eilish, Black Eyed Peas, Bruno Mars, Calvin Harris, Coldplay, Eladio Carrion, Kane Brown, Keith Urban, Nelly, Nelly Furtada, Peso Pluma, Post Malone, Shakira, Stevie Nicks, and Taney. While the lineup has fewer artists compared to previous years, so in 2023 they were 30 um, and over 25 in 2021, Peloton has promised that we will be getting longer class options and more Mm. live classes this year. The event will also celebrate Latinx and Hispanic Heritage Month with classes highlighting Latin music superstars such as Shakira, Eladio Carrion, Plesa Pluma, and Taini. Um, You can head over to pelobuddy.com to see which instructors are teaching which classes As of now, we only have access to those classes that will have members in them as folks were able to book classes this past Thursday to be in studio live. But of course, the schedule will roll out this weekend. So you will have access to other classes that will be available that won't in fact be live with members in them, but that will be available um, on that weekend. As well as you know, they always do drop stuff um, on demand. Um, By the time you're hearing this recording, we'll have a much uh, bigger list because the schedule for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday um, will have been released. So any other ones that are not with members that are on the schedule, we'll have that list updated. And then by Tuesday, we should have the mostly entire list. list. There might be some premieres that aren't uh, added to the schedule that just drop. But outside of those, we should have the full list by instructor. Yeah, so just head over to pedalbuddy.com if you would like to kind of get a taste of who's um, going to be on that weekend um, so that you, you know, you have access to that. There are just too many to list and, um, you know, it, it, it seemed redundant to do that. So just go ahead and head over to pedalbuddy.com to get the um, list. A little, a little underwhelmed, but I feel like, you know, with the budgets and um, all their cuts, um, it just seems logical. This is what we get. Yeah. And based, you know, they said look for more live classes and more longer classes. It definitely seems like more live classes this year. Mm, um, yeah. The schedule is a little more robust for the live classes. As far as longer classes, at least for the studio members, there's only two 45 minute classes. There's no 60 mm. minute classes. The rest are 30, 20, and 15 minute classes. But maybe some of the on demand premieres or, you know, coach to camera live ones might be some of those longer ones or. Maybe they're just considering 30 minutes longer ones this year. Since last year, you know, they've had a bunch of 15-minute listening party classes. So 30-minute classes are technically longer than 15-minute listening parties. So, Yeah, yeah. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. Um, I'm just surprised there wasn't, like, a lot of the big artists this year weren't featured yeah. at all. And if obviously yeah. too, too pricey or I don't know what the, what the factors go into that, everything into to choosing yeah. those but you know it would have been nice to see some like george michael or chappelle Roan. we i mean we just got a chappelle roan artist series but no ariana no taylor swift i know those people were pretty vocal about them well in particular the george michael since you know it was in Correct. the last month they just got yeah. access to the catalog i know a bunch of people were speculating that that would be, you know be an obvious one for artist series since they just got it but 
maybe there will yeah. be a standalone one coming That's up soon. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Hopefully. a standalone artist series as opposed to just throwing it into all for one for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of things coming up, Peloton has given us a tease of some things coming out through the rest of September in their September workouts to watch email. Uh, there's five big things that they highlighted. The first is that Latin and Hispanic Heritage Month will be happening, which Amanda touched on as part of All for One. Um, secondly, the first ever split strength program in Spanish is going to come out. That will be a three-day split strength taught by RAD, which is coming out Monday, September 15th. They are also releasing a new nine-week Discover Yoga collection, um, and that's going to be one week at a time. They'll be loading classes into those, and since it's a collection, you don't have the issue with programs of you know being locked into that structure. That comes out on September 16th. On September 17th, they are doing the first ever walking boot camp classes. So they're expanding their boot camps to be a new walking boot camp, um, you know, structure to that. The first one will be taught by Maddie, which is going to be on September 17th. And then finally, they're going to be releasing a new batch of scenic classes on September 25th. Um, these won't be where the instructors are, you know, going to Iceland and hiking around in the cold, but they will have a couple of them where the instructors are audio narrating them. Realistically, the instructors are probably going to have been done that from, you know, the same studio where they do the audio outdoor classes. They're not going to have flown them out there to narrate an audio. But if you're looking for a little extra with your, you know, scenic classes, we haven't had an on-location instructor-led one in a while. So this, you know, we've been talking about budget cuts and things like this. This might be the new normal for instructors being part of, uh, you know, guided scenic classes moving forward. And that comes out September 25th. Psyched for the walking um, Me boot too. camps with Maddie. Me too, with Maddie. <laughs> but if it's Tuesday, he does them at night. They're like oh, 5.30. Oh, really? It's an evening well, time his slot? Well, classes, his classes. I'm trying to see if I can pull it up, if, it's, if it pops up yet. But, Nobody um, ever to, does boot camps in, in the evening. That I seems, know, but Maddie's class, uh, maybe not, because I'm looking here and on the 17th. It's not on it, the schedule yet. Not on the schedule yet? Okay. I would say yeah, it's showing up as a, It's showing up as a premiere, um, his, his regular Tuesday class. So maybe it will be um, in the day. Maybe it will be in the day. All right, good. Huh. Well, Peloton has brought Jess Sim's popular Sim 60 Tread Boot Camp series now to the bike for bike boot camp. So previously known as Saturday 60 because it used to take place every Saturday morning on the tread with Jess um, before she started becoming a correspondent on ESPN's College Game Day on Saturdays um, before it was rebranded. It's one of her signature class series. Um, historically took place, like I said, on Saturdays, but since May has been scheduled primarily now on Sundays. Um, the first Sims bike boot camp uh, happened this past week. It just happened uh, this past Tuesday, September 10th. It went uh, went live um, at 12.15 p.m. It was a hip-hop themed class. The official class description read, get your glazed donut look on with this hour-long high-impact boot camp that combines community, sweat, and fun. A lot of folks were asking, you know, she teaches bike boot camps from time to time. They're 60 minutes. So a lot of folks were asking, what's the difference? You know, how is this going to be any different? And from what I saw from the folks that did it, were there were a lot more transitions back and forth from the bike to the mat and vice versa. So it seemed every 10 minutes or so, there was a transition to the bike or the mat. And I believe um, that's the same structure that she does on the tread ones is those 10 minute intervals. So she's bringing that yeah. same exact 10 minute interval, you know, structure over to the bike. Which a lot of people like, it breaks up the monotony and, and you know, uh, people, tend to get less bored, I guess, or, or worn out, you know, spending so much time on the floor, uh, because those four segments, she can, they can be draining. She, she can be tough because there's very little, usually there's very little breaks with her. She goes pretty quick through the movements, especially when she's teaching you first, like doing the demo, the demo, uh, before you start them. But, uh, everyone seemed to really, I, I, all the comments I saw were, were positive about it. All right, good. Well, Peloton is continuing its benchmark strength content for the um, for the fall season with um, five new benchmark classes being released, uh, one per day. So these classes allow members to track their progress over time by revisiting the same class after six weeks. 
So here's the lineup. There's a 20-minute full body strength with Jermaine Johnson, a 20-minute body weight strength with Logan Aldridge, a core strength benchmark with Robin Arzan, a 20-minute upper body strength with Tunde, and a 20-minute lower body strength with Andy Spear. Um, these classes will be added to the benchmark strength collection where members can track their progress. Thanks. Thanks. Nice. Well, a small update from Peloton this week related to their Strength Plus beta program. As we shared, that opened last week. It's a new standalone strength program designed for people going to an actual gym or who have equipment. Um, about last Tuesday, a week and a half ago, um, they opened it up for beta signups. And Peloton, in a recent investor conference, shared that in the first week since it opened, they had gotten over 50,000 people who were interested in that beta program and who had signed this is up. This a separate app, just to clarify. Completely separate app, yes. Yeah. And uh, they said that they, at this time, they've only decided to let 3,500 people into that beta program. So right now, there's around you know a little over 3,000 people, 3,500 beta testing that. They said that this is so they can optimize, iterate quickly, and learn based on feedback that they get. And I know they've already pushed out one small update even in the week since then related to fixing a bug with Apple Watches. Um, mm -hmm. So it does look like they're going to be pushing updates out pretty frequently to that. You still are able to sign up. I'm sure at some point they're going to increase that over the 3,500 and they'll use the pool of people who have signed up. At this time, it is limited to those who live in the U.S. and who have an iPhone. But... We have a link over on our website that'll take you to the dedicated sign-up page where you can enter that. Another small thing that was mentioned while they were giving out numbers, a week or so ago, they released that new private Teams feature. Um, they shared that in the week or so since that's been out, they've seen more than 20,000 private Teams that have been created among community members and starting to see more you know, people using it. And they also mentioned that of people who are using private Teams, they're seeing those members are more likely to be following other members because they're discovering them, you know, in the team. So they're seeing slightly higher engagement from that, which I think was, you know, engagement and, with existing communities and getting new people to come in to use those was kind of the goal of that. So it seems to be working based on the yeah. early learnings they're seeing. Nice. Nice. Just going back to the beta testing with the strength, you're doing that, Chris. You're, um, you are, what are you, how are you I finding am, it? It's different. Um, yeah, it, it's um, yeah, it's just a different experience. Like, if you want that motivation of the coach talking to you and distracting you with stories, that. this is not for it, not for yeah. you. Like, yeah. this is yeah. you're going, you're doing your workout. This is the workout that we planned for you. Get it done. Um, you know, there you have to pick your own music for this, which a lot of people will like. Some people won't. Yeah. There's no yeah. background track. You have to play your own Spotify. Um, you do have a choice of programs, which there's three right now, one by Andy, one by Rad, and one by Assal, which is in English. Um, or you can use their dynamic workout custom generator, which as we talked about last week, you just say, I have 15 minutes, want to do lower body, this is the equipment, and it'll throw together a workout for you that you can just go, you know, get it done. So there, there's lots of great things um, that it's going to allow you to do that you can't really do in the current Peloton experience. Like you can't really get that. I want to work this part of the body and I have this right. long, what should I do? Like you just have to yeah. scroll and click right now. But if you're looking for that, you know, I just want to do a workout. I want to be distracted, have a good time, hear some good music. It's not really designed for, for that at this yeah. point. Okay. Huh. okay. And we will Makes have a, a longer write up on that probably in the next week or so over on the Pillow Buddy website. We're still just, you know, putting it through its paces a little bit and getting our heads wrapped around some of the differences so we can kind of share more about it. Seems very right. ideal for someone who's maybe a gym rat and wants to actually go to a gym setting, go to a, a Planet Fitness, and but um, doesn't want to pay for an instructor. You're okay, yeah, okay, having yeah. there or get a class, to, yeah, yeah, class yeah, instruction, personal trainer. In like, that yeah, setting. one of the other things they have is they do have the Peloton instructors uh, for each move that you're doing. You can click a video and get the instructor doing a demo of that move. So if you're just going to the gym for the first time and not really sure what some of these moves are, they're also trying to make it so that you can kind of get that intro by watching the Peloton instructor do the demo and then go do it yourself. So they're trying to also yeah. open up the gym to people who might not have done it before bringing some of the Peloton instructors to help do that. Again, not with the, we're walking you through the entire class, talking every minute, here's our music, but more of the 
expertise of this is how you do this move. Here's our demo. Now go oh. do 10 reps of this type thing. Nice. Do we have a Pillow Buddy team created yet, Chris Lewis? I have not at this time. Um, have you, you know, got, I'm have not you, great. Either of you joined any teams? I've joined a good number of them, but you know, you okay. have to create new challenges each week or when they end, and I'm not great on staying on top of that sort of thing. So I've, you know, yeah. didn't want to add one more thing for me to keep up with. I get yeah. it. All right. I hear you. Well, Peloton shared which featured classes that you can look forward to during the week of September 9th to the 15th via their weekly This Week at Peloton Instagram posts. So first up, big news, Callie Gullickson uh, has returned to the live class schedule from her maternity leave. She's back, I think, was she off for six months, Chris Lewis? Yeah. It was a long break. Something like that. Um, Her first live class back happened yesterday, Saturday, September 14th. It was a 20-minute arms and shoulder strength class, which sounds like there was members in the studio uh, on a Saturday for, I would think. Right. Yeah. And it was then, part of the Lulu. Oh, the Lulu weekend. Yeah, that's that's happening right now. Um, so also this week, Kirsten Ferguson, she taught a 75-minute walk plus run um, that happened this morning, actually, Sunday, September 15th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And then included in the highlights was Jen Sherman's 45-minute Yacht Rock ride, which happened last Sunday. This was included. It was Sunday, September 8th, but it was included in the this week. Uh, summary, um, which a lot of people were surprised actually, because a few weeks before that, she said her her yacht rock live that Sunday was her final one. So we got a little bonus just after uh, you know summer had ended. So that is the um, the final of the yacht rock series. And then lastly, Allie Love taught a new installment of her Sundays with Love ride series. Um, that happened Sunday morning, September eighth, a week ago Sunday. All right, and um, uh, a new set of Little Words Project bracelets um, have been released featuring quotes from various Peloton instructors that we had not seen before. So the the new collection introduces um, these quotes that um, folks were kind of looking for and definitely wanted. There was definitely chatter that you know, certain instructors had been missing from that original release of Little Words bracelets. Um, some of the new quotes include um, Camilla Roman's No No Pata Sucia, um, Hannah Frankson's No Behavior, Jeffrey McEachin's Good Vibes, Jess King's Whole Asset, Jess Sims' No Ego in Ami- Amigo, um, John Hosking's I See You Shining, uh, Kristen that's a John fire. Hosking phrase. He says, yeah, "I see you shining." I see you shining. Yeah. Okay. He does that on his um, uh, milestone shoutouts. He'll say, yeah. I, "I see you shining." Um, Olivia matters. You're tougher. Rad Lopez is stay rad. Um, and yeah, they are still thirty dollars a bracelet. Um, oh. They are saying that you can um, bulk buy, and they will, um, and they will kind of reduce the cost. But yeah, thirty dollars is a lot of money for these little words bracelets. I will say that much. Um, Chris, you never received your box of all the um, the, the little words project bracelets that uh, Mom's mine of Peloton Melissa has, got. Mine apparently has been delayed in the mail. Got lost. Yours got lost in the mail. Okay. Apparently. Just, just asking. I did see um, that Melissa got a little gift of them. And um, if you do happen to get those, Chris, I'm, I'm happy to take them on as representative for Pedal Buddy. So I can't I, w- I will quite, let you know. I can't quite picture you wearing the Little Words bracelets. But um, I you don't know. know. Never know. You know, you may surprise me, right? <laughs> there is also a generic high five bracelet um, that's not tied to a specific instructor. But that did come, um, that did come out with this new bunch of bracelets too um we also got another peloton apparel drop there's been a ton of merch that has been dropping over the last few weeks um this last drop actually featured marcel dinkins and maddie majacomo who modeled some of the um articles of clothing on instagram um it is called full ready active wear 
um, with the caption for the apparel um, stating built for performance and comfort. So some of it kind of is not necessarily just for working out, but also to kind of hang around in, um, whether it be, you know, a sweatsuit or um, a jacket, something like that. So um, look out for those. Um, some nice stuff, actually. I have to say that um, I will, I, I've been really kind of like the muted tones and not the kind of florals and the stuff that they add in. And they've been doing that, that is, a lot yeah. lately with the, it's just, just more versatile. Colors. Yeah, the silent yeah. colors has definitely been more versatile. So, yeah. Well, we had a couple of birthdays this week, uh, this past Monday, John Hosking. My boy. <laughs> your boy. And, uh, and then Tuesday, it was Hannah Corbin's birthday. So happy birthday to Hannah and John. All these fellow Virgos that are um, coming out of the closet. All right. Um, no, that was closet. not actually, yeah, that was probably <laughs> not, the right, not the right term to say, but you know what I mean? All these fellow Virgos that are celebrating, popping, up. Um, popping yeah. up. That was what I needed to say. All right. We are going to move right into Instructor in the News. Uh, Chris, why don't you kick it off? All right. Well, this past week, uh, several of the instructors went out and took part in the New, New York Roadrunners Fifth Avenue Mile. As we've shared many times, Peloton has a partnership with the New York Run Roadrunners. Um, you know, the big thing they always talk about is the New York Marathon, which is in November. Right? Is that in November? I believe yes. it's in October. November. Yeah, late November. Sometimes October. First, November. No, first weekend in November. I will be well, in, in New addition York. To the, in addition to the marathon, <laughs> there are several other events throughout the year. One of those is the Fifth Avenue Mile, which is, a, you know, just down Fifth Avenue in New York, and it's a one-mile race. Um, this past week, Matt Wilpers, Alec Karwalski, and Bex Gentry all went out to run it. And, to you know, this shouldn't surprise anyone, but they were all Ooh, very, wow. very fast. <laughs> well, so... As we've shared before, Bex Gentry, who is not training for speed right now, she's training for literally seven marathons in seven days in seven mm -hmm. continents, which, you know, isn't speed work. She came out and did a mile in five minutes and 21 seconds. Not super bad, fast, not you know, not, not a bad day for, you know, <laughs> th honestly, she pro I believe she probably went and ran like 15 miles after that, too. Uh, so like, that was her warm up for her real workout. For sure. Ugh. Well, you then have uh, both Matt and Alex went and. For those who haven't seen on social media, they've been sharing their uh, Wednesday track workouts where yeah. Matt, Alex, and several instructors go and they share their workout. And, you know, it's normally like something we're going to do a six mile warm up. We're then going to do like eight miles of 800 repeats. But clearly, those, these are the workouts workouts with, those are the workouts with Toon Day and Andy yeah. that I've seen, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. Toon Day, I, I love like Matt turns the camera turn and she just goes, F you. <laughs> <laughs> she, does, she so does not want to be there sometimes. Well, if you're wondering, these workouts do seem to be working because Matt went out there and he set a new PR. He did his mile in four minutes and 49 seconds, wow. which crazy fast. And then Alex Karwalski, he went out there and did his mile in four minutes and 34 seconds. And he was that only got him 97th place overall. So super Dang. speedy by all three of these instructors. Congrats to all of them. Uh, very impressive time. Wow. Yeah, I'll wow. say. Crazy. All right. Well, Robin Arzan did not run the New York um, one mile uh, race, but she did share on Instagram that she completed her one mile open water swim out on Nectar Island. So she had stated that it had been months in the making um, when her journey started with the My Day One series where she had committed to learn uh. how to swim. I guess she'd never been a swimmer and she gave herself that challenge. She said that it wasn't about being perfect. It was just about showing up and putting in the effort and letting, um, you know, progress build up day by day. She thanked Rush Performance Coaching and her coach, um, Joe, as well as her husband, Drew, for supporting her along the way. Cool. Well, big congrats to Cody Rigsby, his book. XOXO Cody, an opinionated homosexual's guide to self love, relationships, and tactful pettiness, is officially one year old and also now available in paperback. So um, I think we can expect to see him um, maybe doing some possible meet and greets like he had done uh, recently to, uh, to promote it and some um, to promote it again. Yeah. And last weekend, Alex Toussaint had DJ and producer Mustard as a special guest riding in studio. Back in October of 2019, Alex had done a 30-minute spotlight and six ride. DJ um, 
Mustard's music. Um, unfortunately, that class has actually, since been... He was actually in studio, and it's called Spotlight on Six because they were on Bike Six, and it featured ah, Mustard actually in studio. That was back and they yeah, had one with 23rd Street. Yeah, and they had Cam Newton do one of those as well. So yeah. they did a couple of those back in Got the day. It. And it was called the Spotlight I, on Six series because, because they were on, they were bike, on six. bike Six. Okay, I didn't bike understand six. what the reference to Spotlight on Six. I should. Yeah. I guess I should have checked with you. Bike, um, bike Six was the bike that was the camera bike because there was a little bit of reflection of light that would shine on whoever was on that bike. So you would see uh, them a little more prominently in the mirror reflection behind the instructor. And I specifically remember I, that DJ Mustard ride because... He was on camera and he looked like he was gonna die. <laughs> he looked Aww. so he looked so tired and like well, sweaty. Well, hopefully five <laughs> years later he's a little fitter yeah. <laughs> um, and managed Alex's class um, in studio. Um, yeah. But yeah, that class though unfortunately has been purged. That 2019 yeah. class. So um, if folks are looking for it, you um, ain't gonna find it. Uh. And I know we mentioned this in passing, but he was in studio again this past weekend with yeah. Alex. It wasn't a spotlight class, no, um, no, but no. Alex took a picture with him afterwards and talked to him a little bit during the class. Um, so that's why we're bringing it up again, because he was in studio yeah. riding again this past weekend This past with Alex. weekend, yeah. yeah. Well, a big congrats to Eric Yeager, who recently ran in a special Red Bull event. This actually looked really cool. Um, it happened in fin Finland, um, and he posted this little video recap of him narrating um, from start to finish and in between, but it was a 400 meter race, which everyone goes like basically sprinting up this, um, artificial, super steep ski slope. That it's like was the set slalom up. courses, right? Yeah, Where they go straight like, down and do the jump. Yeah. Like the slalom skiers in the Olympics do, but imagine just like, you know, you're at a, I don't know what, an incline, you know, like a 99 incline or something trying to sprint up that, um, just look wild and, a, you know, a whole group of people doing it all at the same time. Um, it looked, it looked kind of fun. I mean, it looked intense, but uh, big congrats to him for, for completing it. Yeah. Red Bull kind of does those around the world in the various extreme, places yeah, and they're, they're very, they're interesting events. I've always wished there was one near me because it just looks like it'd be, be fun and interesting to go check one out. Yeah, I've always gotten a kick out of the one where they always fly these like makeshift like little airplanes and see how long they can on that fly. narrow bridge to yeah. see until they fall off, and then yeah. they just go straight plummet straight into the water or wherever they're wherever they have it set up. Rather them than me. Yeah. <laughs> well, changing gears a little bit, um, Marcel and Charlotte were over in Germany and they teamed up with Fit Shop to be part of their Fit shop sales there and this is events where different vendors who have um you know uh placement and fit shop go and set up sales shop talk with different uh vendors community but charlotte and marcel went there and worked with the fit shop sales team and shared a little bit about their experience they had a great time it's not about it's not a team but it's a family at the fit shop group and as we've shared before in germany and austria fit shop is the main retailer who peloton sells their items to they're kind of like a version yeah. of dick sporting good in europe um but as of the last month peloton is actually no longer doing direct sales at all in germany they're doing all their sales through either fit shop or amazon um so if you're in germany or austria and you want to buy a peloton you're not going to do it through the peloton site you're going to end up on fit shop or amazon so that's why you might see them doing a little more promotions with them as they kind of integrate them more into their sales pipeline Makes gotcha. sense. All right. Well, wrapping up instructor in the news, Aditi Shah will be one of the speakers at the second annual Juggernaut Summit, which will be held on September the 27th at Newhouse, um, New York City. The Juggernaut Summit is an annual event that brings together South Asian leaders from a variety of fields to discuss topics such as business, politics, health and wellness, entertainment, and more. The name Juggernaut comes from the Sanskrit word um, Jagana, which means Lord of the World. In Hindu mythology, Jagana is an image of Krishna that is carried annually in procession on a large cart. So I was interested to know what it was and what she was doing. I figured you may be too. So did a little bit of research there for you guys. Um, but um, Aditi will be part of that um, on the 27th. 
And that wraps up Instructor in the News. We will go right into our picks of the week and I will kick it, it off. We are. I will kick it off with Aditi Shah. She had a 15-minute pop punk Pilates class last um, uh, uh, September the 5th. It was um, came to us from Amaja 3. Um, and she said, great pop punk playlist and great programming, programming as always from Aditi. And then as promised, um, this is my, one of my two picks of the week for this week. I had to remind you guys to go out and do Mariana Fernandez's 60 minute endurance run. That one also came to us on the first. Um, it was truly an incredible, incredible workout. Um, the energy in the studio was palpable. She had her parents in there, which was amazing to see. Her playlist was diverse and she had a little bit of everything, um, kicking it off with some rock, giving us a little bit of um, Taylor Swift. Um, there was some mm. um, Mexican music in there. So it was just a diverse playlist um, that just kept us moving. And um, yeah, I'm still waiting for you to come back and tell us, John, how you did in that run. Um, and then keep, keep, um, keep holding we, your breath. <laughs> and then we have Hannah Corbin's ten-minute bar class. It was a glutes and legs class from Friday the sixth of September. This one came to us from Spinbug, and they said this class was a new type of spicy from Hannah. Right. Next up, Christian Van de Velde's fifteen-minute cool-down ride from September sixth. Riders Night 9 said an extra long cool down ride is a great addition and Christian's rides are always great even when he uh, great when he comes back to Peloton. Uh, Hannah Frankson's 15 minute 2000s ride from September 6th. Ride to Calm said great music that gave me all the feels. And Bradley Rose's 60 minute pop ride from September 7th. It's Kate and Armajar 3 said the playlist was fire with all the classes and great songs with great beats. And Bradley is the best at motivating you to be better while keeping you laughing the whole time and encouraging the idea that your ride doesn't always have to be so serious. He had a cheeky warm up in there too. Nice. All right. My next pick of the week John Hosking's 30 minute 80s walk from Saturday, the 7th of September. This one, folks, is one not to be missed. It is purely 80s movie theme, themed music. Mm. So everything was from, I mean, starting out with No Easy Way Out from the Rocky IV um, soundtrack. Um, he took us to Footloose with Kenny Loggins, um, Flashdance. He had Take My Breath Away from Top Gun, um, Don't You Forget About Me, Simple Minds. Um, he Club. obviously, yeah, Breakfast Club obviously um, had uh, Dirty Dancing in there. I mean, how can you not? Fame. Um, fame. And then ended up with Never Ending Story, which he says is not usually a much watched movie, but the song um, was beautiful to kind of wrap that, um, that workout um, uh, up. So nice. huge, huge um, shout out to John on that, on that playlist and, and uh, the curation of that walk. It really was a fun, fun walk. I just remember, um, the, so that song, the Never Ending Story, is kind of iconic, and it's by, like, a German group called Le Mall. And yeah. I just, I, I just, just it, it kind of gives me a chuckle, because I remember years ago, when I first started riding on Peloton, and I, one of, like, the first times I messaged Jen Sherman on Facebook Messenger when she had an 80s ride coming up, and I was like, hey, can you play uh, the Never Ending Story by Le Mall? And she replied back and said, who the F is Le Mall? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, that's so funny. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's he. He did say that. He goes. I'm sure many people won't know, but I had to Sam add Hill's this in there. He's Has a fan. He? Uh, yep. Good. Yep. All right. And then we had um, Maddie Majakamo's 20 minute Disney run from the seventh as well. This one came to us from Richard Spins 52. Um, they said the combo of Maddie and Disney is always a fun one. Just wish the class had been longer. That was just a 20 minute run. Um, and then Benny Adami's 30 minute house ride. Um, it was in English from Sunday the 8th and it came to us from Amajar 3. And she said great energy and good vibes in this English ride from Benny. Great. And uh, next up, Allie loves her most recent 
installment of Sundays with Love, which is a 30 minute ride from September 8th. Lindsay T. Gamble and Christina M. Romano said amazing messages with some tough climbs. And then Adrian Williams, 20 minute R&B full body stretch from September 9th. A.T. A Tune 24 said it was great. You held the poses longer. And as a runner, I really liked the hip stretches. It was a well programmed and balanced class. And then Christine Dierkele's 30 minute new wave ride from September 9th. I did this one live actually. Uh, Clara Ann 77 said, Always enjoy the new wave playlist from Christine. Nice. And then Tunde gave us a 10 minute core strength class. This one was from September the 9th. It came to us from Shea Nation. And they said, I love an all on lying on your back core class, but love that in one of the sets, she said her body isn't feeling the bicycles and she modified with a hollow body. Um, so great to see the normalization of modifications. Queen have, and bear with me here. Off Queen days have too. Off days too. Yeah. So um, that was great. And then um, Kirsten Ferguson's her 60 minute hike. Um, this one came to us from Just Dance Lisa. This class dropped on the 9th as well, September the 9th. Um, and Just Dance Lisa said, good long workout from Kirsten. And then Matt Wolfers had a 30 minute country ride. That one was from the 10th of September. It came to us from All Biz Liz. And they said, this was fun to see since we don't get a ton of non-PZ rides from him. Uh, next up, Camilla Ramones, 30-minute reggaeton ride from September 10th. Came out 27, and Katie McTagg said, felt motivated and jogged, ran the entire class with Camilla's guidance. Her energy is on point. And then Jess Sims, her Sim 60 hip-hop bike boot camp from September 10th. Uh, Casa, Casson and 1989, Krabby Cakes, Steffi713 said, nothing beats a gem sis, Jess Sims class, evenly divided into 10 minute segments to kick your butt. And then rounding out the picks this week, Cody's 20 minute 80s ride from September 10th. Armajar 3 said, amazing 80s playlist in this class from Cody. Nice. And that, folks, wraps up the picks of the week for um, this week. Again, some nice diversity in there of different classes um, that we are seeing on the platform. All and right, again, guys. like as, as a reminder, uh, if you want to send in your pick, do that on Wednesday via our Instagram stories or just shoot us an email. And that's why you see them there from Thursday to Wednesday, because we sometimes record early in the week and we just consistently keep that time frame. But we'd love to see those submissions so we can feature people you know, there's only three of us. There's a lot of instructors out there, so we can feature some classes that we just don't have the chance to take. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, um, I guess that wraps up the show, too. So a quick, a lot of information there, but we managed quick to get efficient. it in um, quick and efficient this week. Absolutely. Um, anyway, as always, folks, thank you so much for um, tuning in, for listening, for staying um in touch with us and we like to be able to bring you um the latest news so thank you for um listening and from me here down in maryland bye for now everybody from me here in atlanta thanks for listening and we'll see you all next time um from me here in michigan appreciate you tuning in watching and listening and as always we will see you on the leaderboard bye for now Thank you for watching Pillow Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton, by the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pillow Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pillow Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pillow Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.